All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's look at problem number 19. x cubed minus 12x is greater than or equal to x squared. Now, first thing I will do when I'm solving what I call a higher order inequality, and of course what I mean by higher order, this is not a first degree inequality, the degree is higher, it's two or higher. One method that I like to teach for solving this, not using the graphing calculator, but by hand, is something called the region testing method. And the first step in that method is to write the inequality in such a form, I'm going, I'm going to put this, I'm going to have a minus x squared here, and of course the minus 12x. So one of the first things that I do by hand is I establish 0 on the right-hand side of the inequality. Now, the way the region testing method works is you have to locate the zeros of, if this were a function, you need to locate its zeros. If I factor this expression, I can start by factoring out an x, which leaves me inside with x squared minus x minus 12. And if I continue factoring that expression, this trinomial factors as quantity x minus 4, quantity x plus 3. So this is virtually my problem right here. I don't go back and look at the original problem. This is my original problem in the form that I like it. Now, I think that you can see pretty clearly, if, if I were just looking here and ignoring this, if I were just looking at this as a function, this function has three zeros. Its zeros would be zero, it would be four, and it would be negative three. So what I do at this point is I draw a number line. And not necessarily to scale, but what I do is I put these zeros on the number line. Negative 3, 0, and 4. And then what I've taught my students to do is to pick a test value from each region. And in this case, you see we have one, two, three, four regions to test. From the first region, I'll pick a test value of negative four. From this next region, I'll pick a test value of negative one. From this other region, this third region, I'll pick a test value of one. And from the last region, I'll pick a test value of 5. You need to pick a number that's in that region. Now, what I do with each one of these numbers in turn is I test them into my original inequality and see if they work or not. So my original inequality is x times x minus 4 times x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0, and I test them one at a time. Let's start with negative 4. Okay, let's see what happens here. This would become negative 4 times negative 4 minus 4 times negative 4 plus 3 and it's supposed to be greater than or equal to zero. Now all we really need to do here is to test the signs. We don't really need the value. Okay, so we have a negative times a negative times a negative. You see how I'm just working with the signs? Negative times negative times negative is greater than or equal to zero. No because negative times negative is a positive, times negative is a negative, and a negative number is not greater than or equal to zero. So that means this number does not work, which means the numbers in this region are not solutions. Now we try the negative one. 
Okay. When I do, I have negative 1 times negative 1 minus 4 times negative 1 plus 3. And that's supposed to be greater than or equal to 0. Well, let's look at signs. A negative times a negative, this would be a positive, is a negative times a negative times a positive greater than or equal to zero? Yes. So that means that negative one was a solution. Therefore, everything in its region is going to be a solution. So we know to shade in that region. We also, by the way, since we're here, the original problem said greater than or equal to zero. We know to include negative three and we know to include zero in our answers because the zeros are included in my solution set. Okay, now we have to test one. When I test the number one, remember I'm plugging in here, I have one times 1 minus 4 times 1 plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. And now let's check the signs. A positive times a negative times a positive is greater than or equal to 0. And no, it wouldn't be. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times positive is negative. Negative number is not greater than or equal to 0. That means the number 1 does not work, which means this region does not work. And my final number to test would be a 5. When I test 5, all right, let me come up here to test it. I'm running out of room on my paper. I have, I'm going to my inequality and plugging in. I have 5 times 5 minus 4 times 5 plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. A positive times a positive times a positive is definitely greater than or equal to 0, so yes. 5 works, which means I, all the numbers in its region work. 4 is included, and the reason, of course, we're including 4 is it is a 0. It's part of my solution set. And now all I do to get my final answer is I look at the two regions that are marked at the number line. So my final answer to this question is all real numbers between negative 3 and 0. Notice I'm using brackets for included and union. And we have one final piece. We have the piece from 4 included to infinity. And that is my solution set to this inequality. And I got that solution set using the region testing method.